want to do this anymore. N then don't. We decided to go away. Let let's let's do it. Hey, look, I can't stop you, but I'll still be here when you get back, and I'm not giving up. Look, Emily, forget everything that's happened, okay? It hurts, but we can get past this together. I have faith in this, Emily. It's, it's, it's too down. late for you to change your mind. All right, why can't you two understand? I am not going to choose. I can't. Are you sure? I mean, because it hasn't been six weeks yet, and I know that. Yes, I love you, and I don't want you to leave for school without us. You know. Okay. Yeah. I love you too. What? Hey, who said you could lock this door? Um, now is really not a good time, okay? I uh, thought you'd be pleased to know that your ploy worked. I, hey, I've got a lot to do if I'm going to be ready to leave. Oh, oh don't soon. be naive with me. You're not going anywhere, and you know it, Dylan. What does he mean? Your mother did just what you asked her to do. She threatened General Perry with a lawsuit if you even set foot on that Stonewall Academy. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I was willing to drag you there regardless, but, oh, no, Perry said no. He refused. <laughs> Alice, where the hell's the key to this room? I guess I'm staying. You called your mom? Yeah, can we please not talk about my mom right now? I need to leave. What? Why? You lied to me, Dylan. Is she here? She was about ten minutes ago. You get her drunk? She pretty much had that on her own, man. That chicken booze, dude. So what'd she say? Well, one thing's for sure, she's no air. She's more like a pool sharp. Classy. Uh -huh. You ever heard of Deadwood, South Dakota? That's where the cards originate. She had one on her. Jack of Diamonds. Did you get it? No. Jack showed up. He's mad. He said something about a little Miss Pool all in there losing a bet or something. I don't know. Out of curiosity, what was, uh, what was her reaction to Jax? It's ticked. She really doesn't like the cat. He's hope for her, yeah. Mind if I join you? It depends. <clears throat> what are you trying to get? Better shoot me now. Is that Where is she? What do you care? I'll drop you and find her. Then do it. I'm not afraid to die. Yeah, I'll take a bullet for Cully. Go ahead. Shoot. Contractions are 12 minutes apart. <laughs> You're not exactly patient, are you? All right, well, you get that from me. Uh, and I bet you're stubborn, too. You get that from your father. Oh. Oh, I bet you're pretty determined to get into this world. I don't blame you, though. All we do is keep telling you how much we love you <laughs> and how we want to meet you. All right. Here's the deal. I will just, um, I'll stay calm. <laughs> and I'll let you just do the work. You can just do okay. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> oh, we need some help here. <laughs> Fast. <sighs> Courtney, I heard the crash. I need to help you. Tell me where you are. Courtney, come on! It's Capelli. I 
think there's something here you're gonna want to see, but you don't have much time. I love you both. It's not fair, it's hurting all of us, and the only solution is to stop. The way for you to end this, Emily, is to make a well, choice. I, I'm, I'm not gonna step aside. I tried that once and you it didn't work. You were such an All right, this so is impossible. Sorry. I cannot have a three-way conversation about something I hardly understand myself. I hate what I've done to us, and I'm the only one to blame for it. You both have been way better than I deserve, so as of today, I'm not with either of you. I never lied to you, Georgie, and you know that. You knew you weren't going to military school when you came up here. As far as I knew, I was shipping out at 0900. But you called your mom and she said she'd get you out of oh, it. Oh, yeah, and she's really reliable. We had a contract, Dylan. I know that. Yeah, I know we had a contract. We said six weeks, and we can wait even longer if you want. But I, I would really appreciate it if we could quit almost doing it, because it's getting hard to stop. We almost did it because you lied to me. You. Let me believe that you were leaving when you weren't. Okay, A, I never lied to you. Never. B, five minutes ago, it really seemed to me like you wanted to do that. Yeah, I did, because I didn't think I'd see you again until next summer. That's the point. Georgie, I mean, I'm not going anywhere, and, and we can be together now. Isn't that why you burst into the den pretending to be pregnant? Isn't that why you challenged my grandfather? I wanted you to stay because I thought I could trust you. You can trust me. I love you. I mean, of course you can trust me. Isn't that what every guy says to a girl when he wants her to sleep with him? I don't deserve that. And I'm gonna prove it to you. Did the right thing by calling me. She's been unconscious since I got here. Courtney. Courtney. Courtney, can you hear me? Get her talking fast. I have to call paramedics, then I'm calling her husband. Yeah, yeah. She is. Not you. It's okay, it's okay. Sit still. There's a police officer right over there. He's calling for help. I need Jason. He's coming. The roads are out. You have to tell me where to find Carly. The doctors are just left. You need, look, he's going to Carly. You need to find him. So, what, what happened? Doctors are, I don't want to worry about him right now, though. Okay, listen, Courtney, she called me from herself. She right. said she found Carly. And then, and then I heard a crash. It sounded like an accident. I, I've been calling her nonstop, and she hasn't picked up. Where's Carly? I, I don't know where Carly is. I don't even know where Courtney was coming from. Okay, listen to me. I'm gonna call our guy at the at the hospital, right? Have him scan for any kind of accidents. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what's going on here. What's the next step to do, Lisa? Hello, Jason Morgan. Who is this? Detective Capelli, PCPD. Uh, your wife's been in an accident. She's hurt pretty bad. Was was Courtney alone? Looks like it. Well, where is she? Uh, the paramedics are on their way. Where the hell is my wife? Old Town Bridge. I'll be right there. No, no, meet us at... Hello? Where was the cop? He's right over there. <laughs> Can you tell me where Carly is? No. You don't have time for this. You know I won't hurt Carly. She's in some kind of trouble. <laughs> you need to get her out. I will. <laughs> She hurt? <laughs> for Carly's sake, for the baby's sake, please tell me where she is. <laughs> Courtney, you know I'm not gonna hurt Carly. No, 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 stay with me, stay with me. We're running out of time. Carly and her baby are running out of time. Does she know anything? I need to do Adam's Road. Carly's in labor. I'm sorry, Mrs. Morgan. I, I, I don't understand. Did you say something about Carly? Where are the paramedics? They're just tied up all over the area. Just hang, just hang on, Courtney. Just hang on, okay? Grandfather! Grandfather! Hmm. Oh, 
Miss Jones, I wasn't even aware that you were still oh, here. Oh, save it. That little speech you pulled in the hallway, that was a setup, and we both know it. I see that you have made no plans to change your attitude. Why should I? You don't give a damn about me. Listen, I assure you that that military school was in your best interest. Dylan, I want to leave. No. No, what good is it good? You stay in Port Charles if you can't even trust me. So, what do you want? I'm busy. Oh, for you to tell Georgia the truth? Dylan, Maybe. drop it. I don't know. I can't, okay? As of an hour ago, I was supposed to leave for military school in the morning, right? Woo-hoo, that was my intention. Yes, until Tracy screwed things oh, up. Oh, God, don't bring my mother into this. Don't do that. Okay? As far as I knew, I want you to confirm this. As far as I knew, I was supposed to leave for good. Oh, oh, I can't. That would be dishonest. What? You know, I am I am so painfully ashamed of my grandson. This was a mistake. That 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 little scene this that he had with the general, it was just to play on your affections. Dylan knew he wasn't leaving. Don't, don't you say another word, grandfather. I swear to God. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Georgie. <laughs> When Dylan left this room, he knew that he was staying in Port Charles. His mother had already arranged it. Oh, I thought I was the, uh, <laughs> I thought I was the last to know. Hmm, I see I'm not. Did I offer to share? Couldn't resist. Oh, grease, salt. Sometimes you just gotta throw out the silver spoon. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Kind of makes us with kindred spirits. Hmm. Is that what we are? I'm willing to bet on it. Now you're talking my language. Samantha, right? Sam. Hmm. And what was your family name again? Oh, I don't know. I've been married so many times. It's really hard to keep track of nowadays. I just stick with Sam. Like Madonna? Not really. Hmm. Well, will you be adding the name Jax anytime soon? As in marrying? Mm. I don't think so. Oh, he was in such a hurry to introduce you as his new girlfriend. Yeah, Jax tends to get ahead of himself. I'll decide when we move to the next level. Very good to know. Thank you. Yeah. You know, uh, Jax has a reputation for getting to know his associates in both the bedroom and the boardroom. So what kind of deal are you two working on? We don't have a deal. I do what I want and when. Nice to know. That means you could be free for dinner tomorrow night. Eli's best ribs in town. <sighs> you know, I, I gotta wash my hair. Mm. She was conscious for a little while, then she passed out right before the paramedic showed up. Get a neurologist down here. Go on, you're gonna be okay. Take her into cubicle one. Did Courtney say anything about Carly? She's still unconscious. You don't know how bad she's hurt. Well, it looks like it's just you and me, kiddo. aren't you? All right, let me tell you something, Morgan. There are some things worth waiting for. Uh, 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 like your daddy to get here. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, when he does <laughs> and he sees you, he is going to fall so in love with you. 
he is going to realize that he deserves to have a family. Oh, and he's going to stop finding ways to punish himself. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Flash flood warnings are in effect for the West Haven, Little Elm, and Port Charles Rivers. The Old Town Bridge is now closed in both directions. Okay. Uh, okay, enough bad news. Okay. I know that song. Oh, your daddy and I, we danced to this at the club. <laughs> oh, all right, Morgan. All right, you just follow my lead. Okay, and then the first pair of eyes you're gonna see, they're gonna be your daddy's. Oh, they're so dark. <laughs> Deep and amazing. Okay. You know what? He also has dimples. <laughs> uh, and I bet you do too. <laughs> okay. 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 Your daddy's gonna be here any second. He's gonna walk through that door. And when he does, we're gonna be here. We'll be waiting for him. <laughs> Your chauffeur has arrived. Oh, come on. You don't think I dragged you out in this weather just for a ride home, do you? Hey, the roads are, are flooded. The bridges are closing. You need an SUV to get you anywhere around town. So aren't you lucky that your daughter happens to drive one? Well, I'm lucky. I'm also very blessed, but it has nothing to do with the weather or your SUV. Oh, well, here. Take a look. Go on. Okay. What am I looking at? Just look, I'll explain. Hey. Are they blood cells? They're yours. And they're healthy. And Dr. Misra confirmed it. And you are in total remission. Oh my God. Congratulations. Oh my God. You did it, sweetheart. Oh, my God. I did it. No, uh -uh. I wanted to die with dignity. Remember? And leave everyone with, with beautiful memories and just, just fade away. And I didn't... I didn't want to fight the cancer. And I didn't... I didn't believe that I could win. But you believed. You believed, Mom. And you wouldn't let me give up. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, I've lived through breast cancer now three times. With Paige and with mine and now with yours. I still don't understand it. I don't know why some people make it and some people don't. I guess maybe it's because sometimes you just have the surgery at the right time and the medicine works and, and all I know is I hope with all this research that they're gonna find a cure real soon. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. You saved my life, Mom. <laughs> Benny, uh, I'd like coffee to go, please. Just so we're clear, I'm not backing away from Emily. Even though that's what she asked? Look, the only reason she's doing this is because she doesn't want to hurt us, otherwise she wouldn't have said anything. Oh, so you're gonna hurt her instead. <laughs> she's so desperate not to break your heart, Xander. She's willing to break her own. What if you're wrong, Nicholas? What if it's you she's trying to protect? I think I know better than that. Emily and I love each other. Tried to fight it, and you know what? It didn't work. 
I think I can give her the time that she needs, but in the end, we'll be together. Thank you. Expect a lot, don't you, Nicholas? Maybe that comes from being rich and spoiled, I don't know. Emily and I didn't expect to fall in love, and we didn't expect to last. But we did. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. I have no idea which way she was headed. Okay? If you find anything out, let me know. Wow. Mr. Krinthos, I have to file an accident report. Has your sister regained consciousness? Not yet. No, Detective, you, you were with her the longest, right? Yeah. Did she say anything about my wife? No, 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 I'm sorry. I mean, she might have said Carly's name, but it wasn't clear. You didn't witness the accident? No, Mrs. Morgan's car had already crashed when I came across it. Which uh, direction was she headed? I don't know. You know, she probably hydroplaned. I mean, if the roads are flooded. There's no way to tell what direction okay, she was Okay, you going. know what? Courtney was with my wife. She's pregnant. She could be in labor. We don't know where to find her. I understand your frustration, Mr. Krinthos, all right? But the fact is, there's a dozen crossroads in that area. Mm -hmm. Courtney could have been coming from anywhere. I need to find my wife! Look, everything is washing out, all right? Anyone driving in that storm would be insane. This is what my family does, okay? They retaliate when they don't get their That's way. That's not my problem. Look, hey, look, hey, my grandfather lied to you, all right? It's sick and it's Just twisted. Let me go, I know. Dad. Why are you listening to a bitter old man who would rather manipulate people than have any one real relationship in his entire Dylan. life? Believe in me, Dylan, I Georgie, don't even when you think here. something else might be true. Look, you told Ned that I was doing jobs for Alcazar, didn't you? I mean, and that hurt me, and you didn't mean it, I know, and I was angry, but then I realized that you didn't do it intentionally. Okay, can't you see that it's the exact same situation for me? He's very convincing, isn't he? Just like his mother. I don't wonder that you were drawn right into it. Oh, him. God, come on, we're getting... No, I'm leaving alone. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. She's very upset, so why don't you just honor her wishes and leave her alone? Well, you are so transparent, okay? You don't want anybody to be happy. And let me warn you, Grandfather, that's a mistake. Listen to me. Do you really think that your mother would approve of oh, you dating on, a Jones girl? I don't girl? give a damn what my mother thinks. Yeah. All right, why do you think I've been so happy lately? It's because every time that I think I can't take another second in this house full of lunatics, I call her and I just escape, okay? I love her. You are too young to be in love. Besides, this whole relationship is completely inappropriate. <laughs> and what's more, it's over. You're wasting your time. Yeah, you would know. Cards are already gone, Dylan. You have them. Cards? The dead man's hand. You stole it. I want him back. Quit stalling. Just give me back the cards. I don't know who's more pathetic, your grandfather. Dylan, I want the cards. You know what? I don't really care what you want, AJ. You're not exactly top of my priority list right now. You know this already, so I will humor you. There were four antique cards in this book. Two aces, two eights, four fifths of the hand that Wild Bill Hickok was holding when he got shot in the back. And I'll tell you this one more time, maybe then you'll get it. I don't know what you're talking about. I have more important things to focus on right now, like life. Why don't you go buy one? Put the cards back, and we will not have a problem.
Uh, hey, Mom. Hey, how are you? Yeah, no, 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 I, uh, thank you. Grandfather's not very happy that, that you got involved. Oh, of course I'm grateful. Yes, yes, and I got what you wanted to. Yeah, th the thing is, though, there's, there's only three of them. Yeah, no, don't worry, they're safe, they're safe. I, uh, nobody's gonna think to look where I stashed those cards. told me Monica might be in here. Yeah, she'll, she'll be back in a second. What happened? Why do you need to see her? Uh, Courtney was in a car accident. The paramedics don't think that she was hurt too badly, but she's still unconscious. I just, you know, I want to know if Monica could take a look at her. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Jace. Yeah, she'll, she'll be back in a second. I'll tell her as soon as she gets okay. back. What, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? Yeah, um, my cancer is in remission. You sure? Yeah, Mom was showing me the blood samples and I'm freezing. <laughs> Thank God. I know, I'm not scared anymore, Jace. It feels so good not to be scared anymore. You know, I thought, I thought this, I didn't, uh, I didn't think that you were gonna make it. And I, I, uh, I couldn't picture my life after that. You know, I knew, I knew that nothing would change, like my job, or my family, but, I mean, everything would be so different without you. Everything would be less. And that's why I love you so much, Emily. <sighs> you know, I I told mom that she saved my life, and she did. I mean, she she made me have the surgery, and she got me through the chemo. But when it was the hardest, and when I was most afraid, you listened to everything I needed to say. And when I thought that I was too tired to keep going, you helped me find a way. Not by begging me to live or anything like that, <laughs> but just by being there for me to hold on to. So thank you, Chase. Thank you. Oh. Hey, Jason. Get back to okay. Hi. Hi. Um. Courtney's been in a car accident. Oh and no. Alan's with her now. He thinks she's gonna be okay. But I just, you know, I just want to know if maybe you could take a look yes, at her. Yes, of course. I would. No, no, Emily. Emily told me that she, she's in remission. Yeah, yeah, it's a miracle. It was you. I mean, you made her, you made her fight and you made her get the treatments. Thank you. Oh, well, you don't need to thank me. That's what mothers do. you love him so much and you're not sure how to show it or even if he wants you to he does though mom that's why he came back looking for you jason trusts you well i have a son who trusts me and a daughter who is healthy and beaten cancer <laughs> Like I said before, I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. John Lewis, report to radiology. Dr. John Lewis, report to radiology. Alan, how is she? Well, her lungs aren't punctured, and there's no indication of internal bleeding. How soon will she wake up? There's no way we can know that. But there is no sign of closed head injury. Ah, oh, Jason asked me to have a look at her. You can wait outside. Guess she's gonna be okay. Courtney was driving that car in that weather. I got, I got to help Carly. I, I know, know that. I got somebody trying to find It's taking too much try. time. I just did she say anything? No, nothing. Oh. Nothing. Your cell phone was cutting out. I couldn't hear a thing. Jason, she's waking up. But you're okay, you're gonna be okay. Oh, Carly. Cor Courtney, I know it's hard to talk, but can you can you tell me where she is? So she should meet you. Ah! <laughs> 
Hey, I can't, I can't my over. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm great. I'm, I'm sorry. I said so on the phone. It, yeah, I know. You, you said you called from the ER. I thought great meant that you weren't in critical condition. No, no, no. no. I, I was visiting my mom. Um, she told me, she told me good news. But how good? We should probably wait for Xander. I, I just called him, and I'm, he was, I'm, he was a big part of Are this. Are you okay? Yeah. You said it was important. No, listen. I know that this is completely, completely awkward considering. What just happened? Um, listen, I'm not making any sense, and it's probably because I've just been completely, completely delirious from joy. Um, my cancer's in remission. I, I still have to complete the last round of chemo, but my body's producing healthy cells, and all of the all of the tests came back clean. You did it. With a lot of help. Thank you for caring. And thank you, too. I love you. Hey, listen, you guys, I'm sorry. Here, do you, can we sit down yeah. just for a second? Yeah. All right. Um, I, I know that I just made a huge deal about not being with either one of you, and then I call you over here in the storm, and... Please don't apologize, okay? This is your life, right? Yeah, in more ways than one. Um, my, my biological mom died of cancer, and my other mom, she just said that it's not because Paige, Paige didn't want to live or, or wasn't loved enough or, or didn't fight. It's because the treatment didn't work for her, and... It worked for me, you know. Part of it was luck and part of it was timing. I mean, the, the treatments for breast cancer are so much, so much better now. You know they, they know more because there are a lot of doctors that, that care enough to keep working for a cure. So um, I'm gonna help. Um, I'm gonna be a doctor. Really? Uh... Well, it's, what, does, what's the next step? And does that mean you're, you're gonna go away to school, or? No, I'm, I'm enrolling at PCU. Um, they run a pre-med program through the hospital, so I can, I can take classes here in the hospital and live at home. Um, I'm not going anywhere, but the, the next 10 years of my life are, are pretty, pretty much taken. Well, if this is the part where I'm supposed to step aside, I'm not. You know what I mean? Listen, I just... I want to be honest with both of you. Um, you know, be honest about, about my plans and, and about, about my health, about everything. Um, most of all, what I want to do is I just... I want to, I want to tell you both that I couldn't have gotten through this cancer without you. And no matter how badly I messed things up, um, there was never one single day where I didn't feel your love or one single day where, where I didn't love both of you back. Nice room. Jax's girlfriend, right? You remember. Yeah, why are you here? That's easy. See, you've got something I want, and I will do anything to get it. I didn't want to leave her, but I had to get Carly help. It's okay, where is she? She, she hurt herself. She went into labor. She's in the new house. Yes, anyway, we had, Carly was alone when I left her. I don't think that she's alone anymore. Who's with her? Oh, sorry. What happened? Uh, how did you find me? Doesn't matter. I'm gonna call the helicopter. Oh, uh, you won't get a signal. Courtney's already on her way for help. I need to get you to a doctor. <laughs> There's no time. My contractions are three minutes apart. You need to be in a hospital. <laughs> it's too late. You cannot have the baby. Uh, the baby is coming, okay? We're going to deliver him right here and right now. 
for scenes from the next General Hospital. On the next General Hospital. Do you know where those cards are? I found one of the cards. Thank you. Carly is supposedly alone, right? A lot can conveniently go wrong. You love Sonny, you always will. Well, I love you, all right? Traveler's Advisory is in effect for Epstein, New York. Will Sonny arrive before Alcazar delivers his wife's baby? Find out tomorrow on General Hospital. TGIF Friday, if George loses this job, will his family come unglued? This sucks. They save that for Christmas morning when you unwrap your shampoo. <laughs> then they're calling it terrific. I think the host needs a new nozzle. The new hit, Married to the Kellys, all on the new.